stones that turn this way, and some wheels have stones that turn this way. Some wheels have elevator cuts, some wheels don't have elevator cuts. And it's just from the terrain of the where you built it all determines what your meal looked like, how it was inside, how much money you had to spend. This is a cast iron turbine. What's your name? Byron. Hey Byron. Yeah. Let me hey young lady. Get you on here too, man. What's your name? Tommy Martin. Tommy Martin. Come right here, here Byron. Tommy. And look down in the hole. No, on this side. Follow direction now. <laughs> down in the hole. When I fill this up with water, you're not gonna be able to see the turbine. That is a cast iron turbine. Down there. Got it. All right. That does not turn. It's internal. So inside those water pressure makes the turbine spin. State go. of the art. Two tons of cast iron. So yeah. is that is that way more efficient than a water wheel? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, the man that invented them in the 1820s uh -huh. made them, and it was 80 percent more efficient, 100 times more powerful than a paddle wheel. Wow. The Egyptians were using paddle wheels, for God's sake. And they're very primitive. Very, unless you had a big paddle wheel with a big pulley and gear ratio, and then geared it down, you couldn't run with maybe three, or four machines off of it. But the the uh, turbine to run 50, 60 machines at one time. My goodness. All right. But I'm gonna go out here. I'm gonna shut these gates. When I cut it off at night, I stop it from turning with the gear up top, all right? What I'm gonna do now is shut these gates, open those, and this is gonna fill up with water. Just stay right here, Brian, and just sort of watch me, and watch how fast this fills up when I get it coming down. Okay. Than the height of the dam. Uh -huh. so as soon as I open them, it fills up. Good deal. Yeah, I was noticing that, that there's trout on this side of the dam. Is there trout all throughout this? That's a different story. I'm going in here to cut my turbine on, Brian. Stand right here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn this gear, it's going to open a valve inside and let water in it, it'll start that turning. Right. Once it gets turning, come on in here. Okay. Good. He wants us inside, man. Let's go in there and check it out. All right. I think you cut that off. 
a second, Brian. I'm just replacing the vacuum. Emily. Emily. Macy. Macy. I'm Tommy. Y'all want to help me? Okay. Come right here, Emily. Come right here, Emily. Raise this board up for me. Sit it right back down. Raise it up. Hang on. I'm going to be able to hook you. All right. Now sit it down. Now in a minute, we're going to raise it up and get corn pollen to the floor going back up and over to there. Come over here with me. Brian? Yeah. It is Brian, right? By Byron. Byron. Uh-huh. White corn's upstairs. Yellow corn's upstairs. I'm going to start dropping yellow corn in here. And it's sitting on the stage. And my big box is sitting on the big stage. And I usually weigh it out, but I'm just going to put a little bit in there and get, get it going, all right? All right, come on back over here, man. Right here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Now, raise it up and just sit it right back down on the hood. You don't have to raise it up real high. There you go. Now look right here. There goes your corn. Okay. And it's going back up right here. Laying in the cup. All right, come over here with me. underneath. In just a minute I'm going to raise this angle iron up and it's going to pull the tension pulley tight and it'll get this started turning. Put 
duct tape on in the cold weather, it don't stick. Right. Those flat bells down there slip. That guy's the belt. Okay. They expand and contrast okay. with the hot and cold weather. I got you. Bandit bearings. There's no sleeve insert ball bearings in this. The lid has to get warmed up. I got you. There's a couple of factors. Now I've got all my big chunks out. Now all of this is going to go back upstairs on these elevator cups. And in just a minute, all my grits are going to be falling right over here. Got to get back up. <laughs>
of the Lauren River Valley of Friends. And the prices were just the same. All right, this is a decent stone, but not a Lamborghini. And, All right. a, and this one's called what? Limestone? North Carolina granite. Blue gray granite. And that one is this is pink granite. Okay. All right. But they used to make the stone from here to here for weight. And they started realizing that they were throwing a lot of this stone away. And it was so expensive that when they ran out of the solid piece, they started putting a metal man down here and making eight pieces that fit together. Very narrow. And then put a metal band over it. And then put any kind of rock in there for weight and plaster on top. Otherwise, they're going to throw away all this much granite. So they just started throwing away little bits. There's a stone leaning against the outside out there. It's got eight pieces in it. But the reason they did that was to conserve the granite. That quarry is gone. George Washington's mill in Mount Vernon has the same type of stone we have here. Now, you have yellow corn there, but did you mention that it's mixing with something else? All I, right when I first got started, there was a little bit of white corn left in here. Okay, but it's all yellow corn in that grill. Nothing else. No, I'm doing a 2,000 pound grid order. When this tour bus leaves here in a few minutes, I'm going to cut this off, go back upstairs on my 1950 model to finish the 2,000 pound grid order. That is ready to go out in the morning. To New York. Well, I appreciate you showing us what's going on here. Yeah, we do too, though. Y'all want to help me fill it back up one more time? I got a little girl that will. <laughs> oh, no, the adults have to sweep. The kids get to help. Oh, that's fine. I don't mind. No, I'm messing with you. I, I, I offered offer to carry them. Carry them. Bless your heart. Oh, help them out. Come on up here. Where's my belt? Here, I'm going to cut this off. Raise it up and cut it back down. Well, we don't want that to happen. No, and now I'm going to put some more corn there. Okay. you got to slide it up to one of these notches. Still under here. You can't. you got gloves on. Okay. See the notches? Yes, sir. you got to go up about right there. Okay. Come back around over here. Just don't get caught up in some kind of machinery. You don't know what's going on here. Guys, start piling up. Right, I'm playing. Watch your hands. I'm working for a month. I'm going to fill it up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
I want to grind as much as I possibly can between now and the time the tour bus leaves. Try to fill that barrel up. Is there a bus out there now? When are they coming in? 945. Oh, okay. Well, they said 945. It could be 930, it could be 10 o'clock. Yeah. They're dealing with the older generation and hard. Now, how many, how many persons would be operating this at one time? Would just one man run the whole thing? I have to go up and change those bags out. We have 75 pounds stacked nine high up there. Wow. That's probably need 32 75 pound bags of grits up there for tomorrow morning. I can't grind as fast as they can box the bag. Right. Now your, your name was Tommy? Tommy Morgan. Picture this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually put this video out online if you don't mind. Uh, I'm on there already. I didn't know I was. My like, niece found me on YouTube years ago. I, I didn't give nobody permission to put me on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. It was some little kid, and they put him on yeah. YouTube. I was just a bit of What well, do you need, Leanne, to stay here all day and help you? Nah, but I'm fixing it. <laughs> as soon as they leave, this cuts off. I'm going back upstairs. Well, I appreciate you. Hey, man, nice thank you, Byron. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Like I was saying, my third great grandfather, William Early Eccles, did this. And now we at least got this, you know, this place to it. Yeah, my grandfather's ground on my mama's side, my daddy's side. Uh, where y'all live, Byron? Decatur, Alabama. I graduated high school near We Uh huh. Wait, wait. 100 years ago. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank man. Nice meeting you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Nice meeting you, Lee.